Former Hillary Clinton aide Peter Dow just now flipped and now supports Bernie Sanders in one of the most spectacular displays of radically changing views to whatever will make him relevant, I guess. Now, as you guys can probably imagine right now, I'm not really a fan of this guy. The reason is because I don't like people who have a pseudo interest in a movement in order to gain popularity. The reason why I don't think he really supports the movement is because of his past. So real quick, let's get into what he just said and then let's get into his background. So he said, quote, I was a vocal Hillary Clinton supporter and now I've moved to a position where I think that the Democratic Party establishment needs to change, Dow told Politico. Bernie Sanders is the sole candidate advocating for systemic change, goddamn right, democratic socialism, really questioning the capitalist system, questioning the entire establishment. Well, he's right. That's literally what just happened. Now, let's get into his background. According to Mr. Dow's website, he was a quote-unquote internet staffer for John Kerry in 2004. Now, don't ask me what that means. I actually have no idea. Later, it says that he has crafted digital strategies, so maybe he was like a content strategist or something, or maybe he was like a part of a research position analyzing important social narratives like dank memes or something. Nonetheless, four years later, he was an internet director for Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2008. Again, don't ask me what an internet director is. I have no idea. Maybe it's some sort of a media position, like a digital media position based off of what it says so far, but internet director just kind of sounds off. I guess that's what I'm trying to allude to here, but that's a side point that's not really relevant to this. Anyway, what I really wanted to draw to here is his tweets back in 2016. Now, I don't have a lot of context to be fair, so there is that. However, I do think you guys would appreciate the tweets because it's very telling as to how he viewed Bernie Sanders and the Bernie Sanders movement. So the very first tweet says, I'll be crystal clear. Bernie Sanders has absolutely no business determining the course of the Democratic Party after the harm he did to us. Well, that tweet definitely did not age well. Next tweet. Bernie's quote unquote movement became a hate mission against one woman with people throwing dollar bills at her on the street heinous and sexist. I don't have the context there. I don't know what he's talking about. However, I do know sexist is typically thrown out pretty easily, so I'm not exactly sure if this is warranted or not. However, I wouldn't consider any sort of movement related to Bernie Sanders being a hate mission, so that's pretty funny. Next, he says, day five of belligerent, self-righteous Bernie supporters attacking me with more venom than any mega person ever has. They must feel guilty. Well, it is a little ironic that he's now trying to enter into the base that he had just previously called self-righteous. What kind of position does he think will give him now that he is trying to endorse Bernie Sanders? And what kind of clout does he think he's going to receive as a result of this? Anyway, so fast forward back into the 2020 primary. He just appeared on the Sanders campaign's official podcast, which is why this all started to pick up a lot of publicity, because that's when he decided to endorse Bernie Sanders and then Politico picked up the article. Overall, one of my biggest problems with this guy is the fact that he doesn't really support policy over his personal interests. I think the reason why he supported Hillary Clinton is because he thought that she was the most favored to win and that he would benefit as a result of that. I think he's more focused into what is benefiting him and not as much about what is benefiting the American people. If he did, he would have been supportive of all these policies and the candidates that support those policies. If he really cared about changing the establishment, why was he working with the biggest establishment and arguably the most corrupt politician in the history of the United States, aside from Donald Trump? That is my problem with him. So overall, if you're going to take anything from this video, it is this. If you want to know this guy's opinion, don't ask him. Ask who he believes is the most favored candidate. They will tell you his opinion.